All right. Hello, fourth and fifth graders. My name is Molly Ligon, and this is <laughs> Liz Cutliff. Um, and we are members of the Hope College volleyball team. And today we're going to teach you guys how to make paper cranes. Yeah. So to start things out, we are going to talk about some history behind paper cranes. Uh, so first, this all stems from origami, which is of Japanese origin. Um, and that is right here on the map over in the Asian region. Uh, so Japanese origami began sometime after Buddhist monks carried paper to Japan uh, during the 6th century. And if you can see there on the right side of the presentation over here, um, you can see a, one of the first sketches of a paper, print, paper crane. Um, and this was mostly used for ceremonial purposes way back when because paper was actually really expensive, believe it or not. Um, according to Japanese legend, whoever folds 1,000 paper canes will have their heart desires come true. So all of this comes from a Japanese legend, obviously, like Molly just said, um, Sadako and the Thousand Cranes. So Sadako Suzaki, uh, pardon me if I said that wrong, um, was a Japanese girl who became a victim of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima when she was just two years old. And so from that, she had severe radiation poisoning um, and she became uh, known as a hippa, hippa kusha, a Japanese term for bomb affected person. Um, she's remembered through the story of the 1000 paper cranes uh, because she put, folded a bunch of them before her death and is today a symbol of innocent victims of nuclear warfare. And so this, her dying wish was to have peace on earth. And so this is a photo of the sculpture in her honor in Hiroshima. Um, so now we're gonna learn how to fold a paper crane. Um, the supplies that you guys are gonna need, um, you would need like a square piece of paper and if you don't have a square one, you can just cut one. All right, so step one is getting your square piece of paper. So like Molly said, you can cut one if you do not have one. Um, or also if you're fancy, you can use some origami paper as well. Okay, so we're gonna start by taking the piece of paper and folding it diagonally in both directions. And it should look like an X. Um, and make sure that the edges are lined up very well. <laughs> like this, you can kind of see the X. Just like that. All right, so next is to flip the paper over and fold it horizontally in both directions and make sure that your edges are lined up again. So hamburgers and hot dog style now. And flip it and do it the other way, another X. So you should have something like a star in folding marks. If you can see that, there's like a little star on the... <laughs> okay, um, next we're gonna open up the square and turn it so that one of the corners is pointing towards you. Um, I think this is called an accordion fold. And then you wanna bring the corners together to the one that is pointing towards you. This part's kind of tricky. So it's kind of supposed to, yeah, look like that. And then you want to fold the top corner down over the other corner pointing at you. Awesome. All right, step five. Uh, then you can take the top right-hand corner of the square and fold it. So make sure you have the opening facing towards you still and fold it to the center line and it should look like a, the Superman logo. So... Fold it in one side like that. Make sure you have the opening down here. And then do the same thing on the left side. So it should look something like this when you're all done folding. Again, make sure that the open side is facing down. 
Okay, so now you want to pull the top corner down over the little Superman logo that we just made. And then press it down. So it looks kind of like this. All right. Next, um, pull the triangle pieces and lift the top piece of paper. So flip it over. So we have, right, Molly? Oh, no. So I think, <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> I think they were supposed to kind of pull up the flaps that we just yes. made. Yes, pull up this, these flaps that you just made. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's coming back to me now. <laughs> and kind of flip it up like this so you have creases already made and that way you can open it and fold it back into itself and it should look something like that when you are done folding and then we are going to repeat five through seven again on the other side so we're going to Flip it over. Sorry, I just took your step, Molly. No, you're good. I was we so can cool. go back and look at five through seven. Do that again. Same thing with the um, open flap pointing down. Okay. So there's five. And six, so you can remember that. And finally, seven. And then you should end up with something that looks like this bottom little picture right here, or what I'm holding up. Okay, um, so next, fold um, the right top corner of the diamond in to meet the center line. And then you're supposed to repeat on the left side. And then once you're done with that, it should look kind of like this. And then it asks to flip the paper over and fold the corners in on the other side too. And it should kind of look like a little kite. Cool. Good. All right, so now lift the top right side and press it over to the other side, turning it like a page of a book, and then flip that over and repeat in the same direction. I feel like I might have messed it up. <laughs> We'll see. It's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can still get there. I think I might have too. There we go. Okay. Got it. Always got it. Is this one the step that we just did? Yep. Okay. So here's the next one. Okay. Um, so now you need to lift the bottom corner um, the one that's pointing at you and flip it up to the top corner um, and make sure that like the points line up and then flip it over and do the same thing on the other side so that it looks yeah yeah that last step was a little confusing and I got it one <laughs> yeah so you just need to like expand it and open it like a book and kind of crease it on itself and then flip them up. All right, step 12, similar to step nine, fold the right side top layer into the paper like a book and then from the right to the left and flip the paper over and repeat. This is just making you have some <laughs> creases. <laughs> All right, so it should look like that again. 
Um, okay, so now it asks to pull out the longer pieces that are on the sides and then line up those edges with the edges that we just folded. So this is going to be like the head and the tail. Like that. She's looking cute. And then um, you can bend whichever side you want to make the little head just kind of Hold it like right there. <laughs> there we go. Oh, let's see. All right. And then you want to fold down both wings. He's looking really good. You got this. There we go. Okay. Um, so it says make sure that the crane is able to stand. So you can just kind of pull apart like the base a little bit. And then it kind of like flaps its wings too when you do that like this. Um, I think it like you can like blow in the bottom or something to try to like fill it out a little more. I've tried this and I wasn't able to, but you guys definitely can. A stronger lungs than Molly. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so you're finished, and you only have 999 more to go until your heart's desire can come true. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and we can't wait to see some pictures of your awesome paper cranes. Bye. Bye. <laughs>